位は、ね、おのテスト Hello, everybody. My name is Drake. And I'm Grant. And together, we are Jojo Overdrive. Jojo Overdrive. The Jojo Cue Land. The, Cue the sequence uh, where we're uh, all. Uh, uh, 15. Doing the, the, the like, dance. Where do we are? Sure, sure, man. I was, <laughs> I'm not. I ain't doing anything, but, um. We're, we're back. We're back again with another chapter. We, we, we got a very special chapter today, folks, because we got a stand song reference reveal, which is always fun. After being stuck with Wonder of You and nothing else for, like, th years, it, it's, it's nice to get consistently new references every now and then. And it's another Smiths! Where, where, where? I mean, this was pretty obvious if it was Charming Man. I just always thought it was just going to be Charming Man. But no, it's, so. uh, it's a Big Mouth Strikes Again, which is the name of the chapter. That's why I was mentioning it this early. Yes. Um, anyways, be sure to leave down in the comments below, uh, what song reference would you like to see in the future? Uh, maybe put another Smiths one, who cares? Um, anyways, this is a good chapter. Just This was a great front. chapter. Great, great chapter. I don't think a I've said there's a bad like, chapter yet, but I will if I think that. But right now, no. I think, good chapter. Well, like, I think there, there was, like, a few chapters during Cat Size and the Force where it was, yeah, like, like, fine, but it good. felt like yeah, it was, yeah. like, stretching it out a little bit, maybe. But this feels like a lot of shit's happening, you know. You're, uh, you get into it immediately. And I, I love that immediately. They're like, he's a, he's a junkie. Or whatever. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> just leave him here. Leave him here. Once again, matter. once again, tell more, more Breaking die. Bad references with getting yelled yeah. at for being a junkie. Once, once again, <laughs> the influence junkie. never ceases. <laughs> uh, I, I really like the chapter time. cover with the oh, dollar yeah. bill with Jody on yeah. it, and it has Hirohiko Araki written on it. Yeah. <laughs> like the freaking treasurer, freaking signature or whatever. How that works? I don't know how the dollar bill works. I, I, I. <laughs> I've put my faith into a dying, uh, freaking Under, like, medium. the Secretary of Treasury, he puts his name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, it also has JoJo lands on it, I see. I see. Yeah, with the, for the numbers, the it's pretty funny. It yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> That's fun. What a, what a, what a funny guy. Uh, we jump. I, I'm pretty past sure there that. were, like, photoshops of, of this kind of thing before this. Oh, uh, for like, sure. Like, I'd seen, I'd seen photoshops of Jodeo on a hundred dollar bill. Making uh, the bank, as they say. Getting that bag. I, I love the little, uh, I know you wanted to move on, but I, I love the little, uh, subtitle thing that off for some life-threatening <laughs> money-making. Life-threatening money-making. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I didn't. Wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, speaking of life threatening, uh, Asagi is has cancer. He's gone through this chapter. <laughs> Asagi <laughs> has been contracted with terminal cancer. Um, that is the stand. Um, drug cancer. Drug cancer. Uh, we get a lot of cool, cool stuff at the beginning where uh, they're they're considering just dropping Usagi for for good. <laughs> it's really like, funny. Guys, uh, we should just after two seconds, it. they're just two like, seconds. okay, guys, this is all we could do. <laughs> they they see he has not rock disease, and they they they're suddenly just like, well, there's nothing more we can do. He's he's done. We didn't need him anyway. Um, Literally, Dragona has a stand that can, like, shapeshift skin, basically, and Usagi has Made Kudasai, which can spawn in every object, and they're just like, there's nothing left to do. It's, it's Charming Man specifically, like, the one yeah. that just joined his stride is, is like, really um, guys, I don't like this guy. <laughs> like, you just got here. You're, you're like, an honorary you're member. You're the lowest ranked point. member yeah, right now, bro. Like, Shut up. Shut up, man. Don't, don't, Usagi is like, the goat, man. Don't diss him like that. Um, speaking of Usagi being hot the dog, goat, man. he gets a really oh, hot dog man. Don't remind <laughs> me. <laughs> Go back to like the earlier videos and we were calling him like Frank and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yes, yes. Classic. We were. <laughs> um, speaking of Usagi being the goat, he uh, gets Mate Kudasai to become a straw. First time, but we, we haven't seen Mate Kudasai being popular news in a while. And he does the classic uh, Saw Five. Uh, he stabs himself with yes. the with the straw in order to. Rocky's to been watching breathe. Saw. He's been watching Saw reference. The only thing that has referenced this ever in life. Um, ever. Uh, no, it's it's very cool how he does that. It proves that he's pretty smart too. 
like everyone else, as we can see in this chapter, treats him like he's this stupid moron idiot junkie. But he's actually he he, he proves to be like one of the more intelligent characters in this chapter. Like we we haven't it's, seen it, stuff of it like this before. It, it's pretty characters. funny how the chapter a little later on kind of stops and is like, actually, Usagi, you're a smart guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has to kind of make Charming Man not a total a hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's fun how he's setting up Usagi to be this much of an underdog. Uh, he's still yeah. okay, but <laughs> this he's whole like the wild card of the group. Yeah, yeah. Th 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 this whole this whole entire time, I've been I've been kind of attacking Usagi, saying like I think he still might be the traitor. But like a every single chapter that goes on, Rocky is more like, guys, he's so cool and awesome and a genuinely nice person. But that just makes <laughs> me more want to be like, no, you're tricking me. You're tricking me. I don't believe you. He's gonna kill freaking Dr Dragona. I don't know this how, chapter has such good art. Literally, like every other page is a double spread. I oh guess it's yeah, two it, pages it, it, like, it, still, it really. It, there's a ton of double spreads here. It really feels like one of those chapters where Araki was just like, "I have an idea for some cool stuff I want to draw, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it." And that's gonna yeah. be the, the what happens in this chapter instead of like a, some story thing. Because this this is on this this isn't really a. Story chapter at all. There's not like any new information we, we we garner from this or anything. This is just a, a a fight section basically. We're in the middle of a stand fight at this point. But I think he's gotten so much better at writing his quote unquote stand filler, which is not I know technically not filler. I know whatever. But in terms of it's not progressing the active story. It's just for the thrill of the fight. It's really good. It's 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 a lot better. I mean, this than, is like, gonna this is gonna three. tie into the main stuff. This is gonna be with Howler and all that. For sure, but I'm I'm just saying it's just another stand battle. Like this could have happened like later. It, do it doesn't mean anything that it's happening now. I, We're not learning anything from this about Howler I, I found so it, far. I find it kind of interesting how we literally were like. This is kind of like some of the older stands or whatever, and then we even talked about how yes! uh, in part three there was the stand shrinking. Yet we didn't the talk about the lovers, though. I don't think we said the lovers, and this we is might just have lovers. The lovers. It is pretty. It's pretty much just it's very okay. similar. It's very similar to to lovers. It, it's it's weaker in the whole thing where it doesn't like affect. Yeah, it doesn't. The other it doesn't like yeah affect your body. It kind really of seems like, like a, in terms of sickness, but, it, it seems like yeah. the lovers rebranded with a. Rocky's more modern stand design of most things are now like automatic uh, long distance tracking or whatever stands yeah. as they mention in this. Um, we actually it, it, it was it was it was kind of nice. The last couple fights we hadn't have that after part A, where literally like every single stand, almost the entire part was automatic long distance tracking. Not that I mind too much, but it's it's fun to see other things. And of course, one but, of the but as one soon of the ones as, that wasn't, um, he joined the team. So. As soon as Charming Man like shrunk the eyeball down or whatever, I was like, "Yes, I can't believe he's going back to that." Yeah, oh like, my god, I was so just fun. like, that, "I because because he never ever brings back the stand shrinking thing." So yeah, like, it's, and this even is though, kind of like even this though uh, Big Mouth that. is Big Mouth is a little different, like. It's it's not shrinking an entire body down or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. It's just like the little particles, but it's still like it's cool. Oh, big mouth. I, mean, I can't get over a big mouth. Big mouth. <laughs> like the show. Wow, big mouth. Oh, shut up. Um, oh, Rocky's clearly been watching me. He's clearly a man of culture. Um, no, but it, it's, we get this really cool part where we get a view of the Mate Kudasai straw, and it, like, goes down into it, and we see, like, the interior of his lungs and whatnot, yeah. and we see this little goofy guy, Cancer Stand, uh, we don't know the name I of just that. noticed the straw has the freaking Mate Kudasai, yeah, symbol. It's got, I, I, I don't, it looks <laughs> so like, funny. like, an upside-down pair of legs or something? I don't know yeah, what it is. I think that's what it is. I mean, I guess it's, pr it probably <laughs> would be right-side up, because it's the straw facing down downward so if you faced it the other way it would be right side up but i i don't i don't funny. know i don't know why it's an upside down pair of legs but okay <laughs> rocky okie dokie um this little cancer stand is hacking away at ishagi's lungs like he's just i love going the design of it it's a little it, it is very it. much it, it's basically the lovers crossed with harvest but it is really really cool yeah, and i like yeah. the bandages like on it that, the like, bandages are fun reminis reminiscent of another part three stand uh hanged man kind of yeah the, the mummy look kind of it's fun it's a fun little guy um 
Also, the implication is probably that there's, a, a, like lovers, there's a bunch of these little guys, because later yeah, in the chapter, yeah. Dragona gets infected and, and whatnot. I, I um, assume it's one per body. That makes sense, that makes sense. I, I assume it splits like that. I don't I don't think there's like a hundred per, per body or something like that. I think it's it's one per body. Yeah, and then and um, then Usagi goes on this whole entire scientific rant about this the the specifics about what's happening to him and it's like, okay. I didn't I, I, I thought everyone in this whole group was just a bunch of dumbasses, honestly. But I, I, I also love how still. he's just like he's just like, You need to start driving or whatever and it, like they don't believe him, but you would think they would still like start driving on the off yeah, chance it yeah, is yeah. that and they just stay there like it's like no, what are you doing i th I, I think I, jodio mentions that like well we even even if he is just a stupid filthy junkie we should still probably hear him out at least exactly for a bit. if um, there even a one percent chance that he is telling the truth like <laughs> Just go, go for it. It's so sad to see Soggy like freaking out this whole time. Like, guys, please! Yeah. <laughs> His face is melting. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> pulmonary uh, and endema. And then the the happening. the the woman that was helping them with the the paperwork or whatever. Uh, we see her getting dragged out of the the Howler building or whatever. The, not the Howler building, the land registry or whatever. Just the general land registry. Um, oh yeah. Which cross, cr cr crosses her off the list of potential suspects, because we had had pretty much just, like, her and a couple of the other guards, which they do mention. Um, it could be a, someone else entirely, who knows, but, um, un unless this is some weird freaking, uh, like, multi-dimensional level chess here, where, where she actually is the stand user, and she's just pretending to be infected so that, that they don't know she is. I doubt it. But, it's, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she starts bleeding out of her eyeballs, <laughs> and then Usagi's like, oh no, <laughs> that's gonna happen to me. <laughs> but it has, has, hasn't happened yet, though, so maybe maybe something maybe something affects them differently. Um, and then, yeah, as you said, we get that really, really cool visual part where where Charming Man uses Big Mouth to, to like, move his eye out of his socket through, like, uh, like sand or whatever, which is just Doctor Wu, by the way. Also, just yeah, saying. I'm just saying that Doctor Wu reformed now, and he looks different. I will. I have. And if I have changed his identity. <laughs> if okay, I'm not saying that, but I, I, I'm just saying I have <laughs> one little tiny gripe, and it's that. I don't know the specifics of this stand, but when we first met this guy, it just seemed like he would move sand around him to like like make illusions or whatever now he can turn his body into sand now he's sandman why didn't he, he just do man. that yeah. why did he even bother with the whole like ooh illusions why didn't he just do dr Wu is so powerful in part a it literally was only stopped because josuke was like the perfect stand counter i don't know what he was thinking yeah of course I, I, I the assumption is he has like a limit how much like he still is obsessed with like rocks as a motif and stuff like that even though it seems like we're not getting it's not like rock disease and it's not like rock humans oh, you know so rock you humans think can show. They, like but i don't know like the disease thing doesn't seem like it's uh, maybe it's giving him rock disease i don't i don't know no, but they see okay. they, they they definitely were saying it's a it's other stuff, so I, I'm just... I I, yeah, why I, he... I, ironically, in this situation, last chapter we were thinking, oh, could this be the rock disease? There's more evidence to point to that. But this chapter is kind of disproving that. But this chapter gives more evidence to Charming Man being some sort of... Uh, like rock human rock type human thing. thing. Also, yeah. I would like to point out that in the big page where we first see the eye coming out of his head, Paco comments that he he says that rough skin of yours that's a stand like a, as a question like of course it is why why would he be saying that like why would he be pointing out that it's a stand he obviously oh should, like he should, may oh he should maybe only he know it, about this yeah maybe he thinks that he's also a rock human or something it's, it's, yeah it's it's either one in universe Paco well, of course, there's three options. What, one, it means nothing. Absolutely nothing. He's just writing stuff. Which is the uh, by far most likely Yeah, option. probably. Two, Paco knows about rock human slash is a rock human. See, see like, episode one for that. Um, two, Araki is intentionally giving him this dialogue just as a means for us as the audience to start thinking about what the if this is a stand or not or just what he names his ability or whatever. 
yeah. It, I mean, it is a stand. It is a stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, yeah. Kind of, kind of, in in the same kind of manner that um, what's his face Yatsuya or whatever the, I am a rock guy or whatever he had I am a rock, but he could also just you know do regular rock human stuff and whatever. So, I just think it's important that Paco here is specifically questioning that it's a stand. Either that or Paco is just stupid. Which to be fair. They're all kind of stupid, so I, I don't know. I, I just find it interesting because the whole thing with Big Mouth originally was that it it made, like, a ton of illusions, basically. Yeah. And so it seems weird to me, like, now it's being used in a totally, like, practical way. Yeah, it was... Like, it, it's just Sandman now. Like, before it was, like, Sandman, he, yeah. he would break, like, the laws of reality by, like, having the clouds, you know, him being part of the clouds or whatever. But now it's kind of a little more. Uh, oh, also, are we talking about Sandman from Spider-Man here, not Sandman from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we gotta clarify that. For those that. who somehow have not, <laughs> the whole time they're like, "What are you talking what? about?" Here? Like, I mean, kind of. <laughs> Sandman Sound slash Soundman did this kind of thing at the very beginning, but that was to kind of trick people into thinking his ability was sand-related. Now we do have a sand-related ability, or I guess rough skin or like rocks i'm calling it sand i, I just i really hope Araki doesn't kind of like forget about haha ha, rocky, oh, rocky I, I hope he doesn't forget about the illusion based aspects of the ability yeah instead of and and just because i that feels like such an easy thing to do where the first fight he has all these crazy things and then it just becomes he can he can like turn into sand. Yeah, I say, I just completely, <laughs> just completely. It's it's just it doesn't bug me too much because it uh, it looks cool, so I don't care that much. It but does look it, cool, it, but I just think it, it's a it's a more like interesting ability originally. It's, than yeah, just it was, it was much more interesting. I like this usage, but it just kind of it's uh, may, may, there has to be some sort of limit on it, right? Maybe like a certain percentage of his body he's able to turn into it. So he usually uses it for illusions because he only has like a thin layer that he could use or whatever. Because if it's just Doctor Wu, I don't see how these guys can lose because Doctor Wu is insane, or he's gonna have yeah. to he's gonna have to power creep this uh, a hell of a lot, which he kind he he, he kind of does in this one because we see that it. Uh, Big Mouth doesn't really work on this specific stand because it has to it, when it makes contact it inflicts terminal cancer, which is a pretty yeah. pretty big pretty good counter. Um, but yeah, on, honestly, it's probably it's probably just um, which I've been thinking for a while. Uh, Araki drew really cool art and he liked drawing the really cool art. He was like, I want to do more of this. He's joining the team now, and then he thought of this and was like, I am going to draw this now, and then it, it happened. Yeah, and he, that was it. That's it doesn't it doesn't it. break his abilities or anything. Like it tracks. I I just agree. He needs to make it clear. Like he can't just dissolve his entire body into nothingness. Yeah, you know what I mean. That would be ridiculous. I I I I, 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 wanna, cool, I don't want to I don't want to attack Araki too much, but. Most I'm doing it just because it's the most important stuff to talk about. Honestly, everything else is just like this is yeah. good, this is good, this is good, this is good. I don't want to do just that. Um, my biggest complaint about part nine so far is that the stand abilities rarely get elaborated on. November rain, we still have no idea the exact specifics. We've gotten like a general idea, but we still really don't know exactly what it does. Um, we we didn't know the the limits of smooth operators we kind of do now it can move like negative space and stuff like that which again we still don't really know how much how that works exactly but it's basically it's, we just yeah. need a part nine art book where we have all yes we need, we need we need yeah. to bring stand pages back desperately <laughs> yeah um this is kind of a deep cut for a rocky stuff but the um the the new stand the cancer stand yes. reminded me of the cover that Araki did for Cell magazine, uh, which oh, was yes. a I, I, I remember. yeah I remember. Where, where, where it's like him put as that up the, on screen. yeah we'll put it up on screen right now and I was, I was like that's like that's like the thing like, that that's, he did that's a fun that's a fun reference I mean it's, it's probably not intentional but uh, it's, it's it's I mean it's, it's, it's just medical question. yeah it, 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 just medical stuff I was like yes. oh, that's funny. Um, what else here? I, I find it interesting because usually a chapter would end, like, on the whole thing where Dragona starts getting affected, usually that's where the chapter would end. I was, like, expecting to see the TV continue. I was like, is there more? There's more? And then so there's an extra page because he wanted to add some uh, exposition in here. Um, and we hear about a congressman mm -hmm. uh, 
And all I'm saying is, oh you know God. who else was a politician in JoJo? Who was a politician? Funny Valentine. Funny Valentine. We're getting Valentine. funniest Valentine in JoJo Land. Funniest and Valentine. Funniest Valentine. Valentine. And yes. JoJo Part 9. I see we're in this part Even of the video funniest now. Even funniest or... Okie dokie. Valentine. Um... <laughs> I, I, I'm just sure. <laughs> why, why, why not? Um... Also, I, I really, I really, I'm jumping to this last page or whatever. Um, we in the final panel, we just get the Howler logo like on a cloud, in, uh, just for fun. That, that's because <laughs> it's, 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 it's foreshadowing that Charming Man is a Howler agent because, because Howler, he's in the cloud. Because he's in the cloud. So, ah, I see. Exactly. I see. This 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 is actually happening in universe right now, and he's sending up the Howler signal. <laughs> to signal his allies <laughs> that he's that he's in danger. Um. He's using his rocks to like spell out Howler. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I don't trust you, charming man. You're not charming to me, okay? I'm gonna refer to you by your full name, that charming man. <laughs> You're no friend um, of mine. So I, yeah, I did not think this woman was gonna be like anywhere important at all for this. So it's kind of insane that there's gonna be some kind of congressman. Coming into here or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. You, you. She just seemed really like a, a one-off chapter. Bro, away, whatever. Character. Yeah. And like maybe, so, like even her, even her dying was like kind of a, like not expected, but like that happens. You know, background NPCs get murked often for like stakes to to to, to show, yeah. like with the bleeding eyes and everything. It was to show ah, well, that's gonna happen to them if they don't hurry up. But actually having it connect to something else that happens in the story. Unless he just drops this plot point, which I'm so scared. I'm so I I I I'm sorry. I, I'm too tra I'm too this, traumatized. This by chapter a hundred percent um confirms that Howler is like a major 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 deal. Yeah. Because I know there there was a little bit of speculation after when they first name dropped him, of like oh is Howler actually gonna be a big thing or is it just gonna be for like a tiny bit of the story? This seems like they're setting them up as a major force, uh, going ahead. Yeah, here. they're really really elaborating on it. It's, it's, well, I'm, I'm, I, I'm I wonder, glad we got this confirmation pretty much. I, I wonder how the congressman is going to, like, fold into this because, like, clearly they're setting him up to be something. Yeah, yeah, here. it's, 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 it, it, it's interesting, too, because the congressman, you, usually when you set up, when they, when, when stuff like this set up, it's set up to be, like, an antagonist, but this guy is against A power. good guy, yeah. This guy seems like to be a, 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 a good guy, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, at that, you mentioned, like, Funny Valentine, but it, it, it does make me think that, that because it's a good guy, this has a better chance of being, one, a character we've seen before, or some ancestor of a character yeah. we've seen before, or two, yeah. another new universe variant, or whatever. Not that it's, it's confirmed, Ron's oh my god, they brother. it, because every new character has to be something, but you, this has a higher chance of, uh, of it being I, I significant. Agree. Well, this, this is the exact same way that he teased, honestly, this is more, uh, blatant than how he teased the man in the villa or whatever yeah. the man in the villa could have been no one and it would have been like yeah more more justified than this this feels like he's kind of even if it's not um like even if it's not a character we know it's it's someone that's gonna be very important in the future oh, yeah. i think which, which is interesting because we've had like mostly like teenage young adult aged in in our group here i don't, I don't know if this congressman is gonna join their group i doubt that but it, it'd be interesting that they'd be working with, like, a, an adult blatantly here. I mean, here. that's, that's, I mean, of course, this is completely different, but at the same time, part three had old Joseph in the group of a ton of Yeah, yeah, teenagers. yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, a lot, part three, the average age, I think, was, like, younger than this, because we have a couple 20s here skewing it up a bit to counteract uh, Jodio's 15. Speaking of Joseph, now that we're, like, 15 chapters in, I'm kind of surprised we haven't had, like, anything else about the family tree, um, uh, in, in the part yet. Like, with Joseph, anything like that. Yeah, chapter, ch chapter 15, let me, let me, let me quickly look up what Joe Jolie in chapter 15 was. Like, just to kind of get perspective on how far we are into the story. I, I, I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure the Johnny arc in Part 8 was kind of like 25-ish, I'm thinking? Maybe a little further than that? For, I mean, think of it further than that. that Jojolian's long. Awakening, yeah, uh, chapter awakening 15, chapter 15 is... 
like a lot like halfway through born this way or maybe near the end oh okay that makes sense then and guess what that's right before uh josuke figures out what's kind of going on with the the fruit yeah yeah that's that's that after oh. that is freaking tangerine and the lemon or whatever that chapter name so is pacing wise it does feel like we are you know learning we're gonna learn more about howler we're gonna have more about that even though there's less of a mystery element for yes. this unless this chapter unless this part is like 50 chapters long and we're all just insane or something <laughs> I, I really am trying to think of a prior character that could be the um, congressman, and I'm having trouble just because of all of Part 8, it's like Japanese characters. So they're not going to be an American congressman, you know? Uh, so it's like, huh. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to think here. Some other child of Lucy Steele? I don't know. Some, yeah, I, something I, like I, that's, that. That's, that's Lucy Steele, we know... We know she ended up back in America, right? I because there was a whole thing where she was stuck in Japan with Joseph yeah, or whatever. But I then, think they said she ended up back in America. Yeah, right? because him, him and um, Joseph and Lucy go back to America, and he gets stuck there because of World War Two. So yeah. then he lives in America for like a long, long time or whatever. That's why Jodio is yeah, you yeah, know yeah. American. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. so there could be something related to the Steels. Getting getting the Steels back would be, would be that fun. would be cool. That would be a fun little thing. They're important to American history, damn it! Now that we're back in America, exactly. it would be funny if it was a new Valentine. <laughs> I get it. Get it would. Did it I did there? Yeah, yeah. No, I knew. Yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so it would be funny. It would be. Fu yeah, yeah. Whatever, man. Um, keep, keep cracking He's your jokes. It. History will not vindicate you. You are nothing. Um, it would be cool to see some funny valentine i know that's the most stupid like oh my god i love funny valentine he's the best character i think every new character should be another funny valentine but it would it, it would unironically be like awesome if he randomly dropped some funny valentine relative why not just drop uh, just funny valentine again he lives maybe he, he knew, was there he got out of the infinite is, spin he's good he's good he's president, chilling president president jimbo president yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, last thing I think is that, uh, why do you think Dragona gets, like, affected? Um, Dragona's because, just, like, in the background there, and Jodio doesn't get affected. I, th I think what's happening here is that, um, I think Dragona got affected, uh, back in the land registry. It just took longer for the effects to take hold. Wait, maybe? I just thought of something. Was Dragona the one... I'm look, I'm gonna look back here. Was Dragona the one to spawn in the straw? Yes. Okay, because cause if Dragona spawned in the straw, there was a like physical connection because she held the straw, I think, for a sec. I think? Did she at least said it, so maybe there's a connection know. there. I don't know. Oh, I'm just I trying to think, know. like, why would Jodeo not get affected here? I, no, well, because what, what I'm saying is jo Jodeo and... Uh, Paco, Paco were back in the car. There. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's, okay. what, that's what I'm saying. I, I think it could it could just be a prolonged, it's like a staggered thing. Yes. Yeah, sta yeah. Yeah. Like they, I, I find they, it really funny that uh, Jodio kind of like immediately knows the stand type. I'm like, dude, you know, you know a lot about stands. They could. They they they, <laughs> they could. They who knows what what they learned back with their time with Meryl Mayhew because because she knows about stands and everything. That's true. So she that's true. She could have warned them on different missions of various different types of concepts and how to like counteract them or whatever. I don't remember if I I don't think I I think that Rohan was the first stand encounter they ever had before. They had had team members with stands before. I think they mentioned that, but like. Went going up against people they had never done it before. So maybe may, going uh, maybe back to this one more time. Do you think that this can have to do with the freaking the the first chapter thing saying that no matter how many of us we couldn't have done anything? Um. And do you think maybe they get bailed out like all of them start getting affected or something and then they get bailed out by some outside force? That that could be that could be. I still we're we're at the point right now where. That sentence from the from the first chapter either meant like the first fight they did with Rohan, yeah. or or like overall this entire mission. I assume what my my hypothesis is that most of the rest of the part is going to like take place here ish. On yeah. this, if it doesn't, I'd be actually shocked.
and and it, and uh, if it doesn't, I honestly kind of might just lose faith in the the that first that like line from the first chapter. I think that um, might have just been a throwaway line to kind of raise the stakes. Yeah, then. yeah. I hope we not. are getting too far out from it for me to think like it's still yeah, relevant. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's this is saying. the last it's, chance. I, he, Jodio was either talking about Rohan or at this point, like the final main villain uh, at that point, like the entire thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Like, but uh, after after this fight, I think I'll just stop mentioning it for a while because yeah. it's just like it's probably good. It, it's it kind of become nothing unless really. we get some other narration saying like kind of half, like at least kind of referencing that old line. But yeah, fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't so put that to rest. Yes. All right. Well, so, I think uh, I think that's about it. I don't have anything yeah. left. Um, um, follow our Twitter. Yes, uh, we post funny things, Sometimes. like funny Valentine, like the funny new congressman Valentine. in the chapter. Funniest Valentine. Yeah. Uh. Even funnierest Valentine. Yes, <laughs> even funnier is your Valentine on the occasion. Um, um, also, we're going to have uh, a really, really big uh, part one retrospective video that we filmed. Oh, uh, I forgot like, that. Yeah, we, 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 we mentioned in the last video that we were going to release part one of our part one retrospective soon. We have we're 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 altering the deal. Um, we're, we're making it we're we're making it one very long video instead of segmented like our part eight one because it's an overall shorter one also it'd be cool to have like a like a two I'm sorry, hour it's plus. gonna be like i think it'll end up hours, being man. like three hours hey, well, so. we'll see we've only recorded the, the first, first one part the of first part of it which covers the first uh american volume release so that's like three volumes in one and there's and it's split into three sets we covered the first one of that so we're a third of the way through this uh part one yeah, and that was yeah. an hour long so that kinda... was it an hour long oh geez no. i think it was oh, i think it was yeah well, anyway, so be, be, on, be on the lookout for that, and make sure you stay subscribed so you know when that comes out. And and, and ring, the, ring bell, the bell. Is that is that a thing that still matters anymore? Because like I still know. hear it, but I don't think it matters. Like people say it matters, but I don't. I don't think it does. I don't know if it does anymore. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it matters anymore. Ring it anyway. Did ring, we say thank you bell. for two and a half thousand subscribers? Yeah. That's, like, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, that's I forgot nice. we did. That's that's cool. We, we might even get to three. If we get to 3,000 subscribers on this video, we're doing a giveaway of uh, uh, nothing. I have nothing. nothing to give away. <laughs> I am poor. Um, you lose. You go good day, good day, sir. <laughs> you get a You get a bottle of, of, of some air. I'm going to breathe into it. I'm going to go. Oh, it's going to be exclusive Drake air, and you're going to get sent it. Actually, no. I don't, I don't have enough money to send it. You're gonna, you're gonna go you, to, you a, to a be drop on, off. And you're you, going you to, to be drop on the points. chapter review for zero point zero one milliseconds. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like Gold Roger, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a quest to find the <laughs> jar of Drake air, and it's gonna be hidden somewhere, and I'm not gonna tell anyone. And you're gonna have to find it. The Drake lands. The Drake lands. The holy, <laughs> the holy air underneath <laughs> the ground. <laughs> All right. Well, enough lollygagging. Enough. We're don't done. say that. Don't, 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 don't say that, man. <laughs> well, word is ruined. You can't say that no more. This is a, this is the modern era. We're civilized people now. Okay. This is JoJo Overdrive. Setting off. Drive, let the downside up to top, not what I'm here to do. Hot top.